Luke, the Edmonton Oilers begin their season tonight. A lot of people pegging them as a team that can come out of the West, team that can obviously win their division in the regular season. There's a lot of hype around this Oilers team this year. Is this group capable of living up to that hype? Yeah, there's a lot of hype, but rightfully so, man. Like, you guys know how much I love the addition of Connor Brown. You kind of swipe him out for Kyler Yamamoto. Brownie might be good for 30 this year if he does the right things and goes to the net and wins puck battles. I think it's understated how much Matias Ekholm is going to help the blue line for a full year here. You see how much he helps everyone that he's paired with, but also the D as a whole in kind of taking some of those hard minutes and sheltering some of those uh, younger players. You got to think they're going to dangle that first rounder here towards the deadline, maybe pick up Ty, you and me were talking about maybe like a Nick Dowd down the line here, but I just, I see a look in Connor and Leon's eyes that I had not never seen before here and it's it's a singular goal in winning a stanley cup and it's like nothing is is going to stop them goaltending to me is the issue if you want to call it but i don't know from what we've seen from soup in the preseason i'm hoping for a huge bounce back year for them if they're going to have any success whatsoever it's got to be both of them it can't be a starter and it can't be a one and a two it's got to be a one a one b if one guy's not going or if he has a bad start the other one's got to pick him up but guys if they can even get above average goaltending from this tandem i mean it's it this is the year for them to to bring that cup back to edmonton i honestly think so i love leon calling the cup or bust because you got to second set expectations high to start